Fall is right around the corner, so let's make some sewing plans. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and I make videos about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. Fall is my favorite season of the year, so I'm really excited to share these with you, and I'm going to need your help because there are several items that I can't quite decide which pattern I should make, so I'd really love your feedback. All the fabrics that I have chosen are from my stash, and the first one is a hunter green stretch cotton twill that I got from Mood Fabrics back in 2022. I have two yards of it, and I think I want to make a fall jacket. I've been really wanting some more cropped jackets in my wardrobe because I just feel like that silhouette goes really well with a lot of the wide leg pants that I've been wearing. And I have two options for patterns. The first one I don't have just yet, but I am planning to go to Joann's this weekend and pick it up. It's Nomi 2089. I believe this is a lined jacket, and it's basically a cropped trench. I really love that silhouette. I've actually been looking for a pattern for that for a while. The only thing that gives me pause about this one is that the smallest size is a size 10, which is technically a couple sizes larger than I should be wearing up top, but because it is a jacket and because the trend is still for more oversized things, I think the 10 might work out okay. So that's the first option that I'm considering. And then the second option, which is a pattern that I already have in my stash, is the Pattern Scout Cozy Jacket. This one comes in sizes 0 to 30, and it's also a crop jacket that has several different styles, and I bought the expansion pack. The expansion pack comes with a collar, and then you have the option to have a button front with some chest pockets. So that is the variation that I am leaning towards. So it's kind of between those two. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should make. The next item on my list is I would like to make a twin set for fall out of this bamboo rib knit. I have two yards of it and I purchased it in 2021 from Blackbird Fabrics. So the two patterns that I am planning to use for this twin set, the first one is the Jennifer Lauren handmade juniper cardigan. This one has been in my stash for a few years and I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm planning to make the cropped view and it's kind of a close fitting cardigan. I think it'll work really nicely as part of a twin set. And for the tank underneath, I am planning to make the True Bias Zoe tank. I've made this one time already, and I really like the fit. And I just think that the two paired together would make a really nice early fall twin set that'll match with lots of different things. And because it is more cropped, I, again, I think it's going to be a great silhouette for the pants and skirts that I like to wear. The next fabric from my stash is some autumn plaid rayon twill shirting in cranberry and black that I bought in 2022 from Stylemaker Fabrics. Now I purchased this fabric with the intention to make a button up shirt because anytime I buy plaid fabric, that's the first thing that comes to mind. However, I've been thinking about it. I think I might want to try to branch out and try a style that's just a little bit different, a little bit less traditional. Not that I don't love a button up shirt and I'm sure that I will make more plaid button up shirts in my future, but I would just like to do something a little bit different with this fabric. So my first idea was the Anna Allen Anthea blouse. I've made this once before and I really like this blouse. But I did make a mistake in that I chose the wrong size. It's a little bit too small for me. So I would kind of like a do-over with that pattern and to try it again. And I think that this design would look really nice with the plaid because it's not too hard to match. And I just think those puffy sleeves would look really fun. And it would be different from a traditional classic shirt. The second option for this fabric is the Itch to Stitch Seychelles top. This one is a pullover style. It has a v-neck with a facing, and then I would make the long sleeve version. It's still kind of a fuller sleeve, but it's not as puffy as the Anthea. I think this could also look really nice in a plaid. So let me know which one is your favorite. I think both of them would be really nice options, but I'm looking forward to making something a little bit different with that plaid that's outside of my comfort zone. The next fabric for my stash is a Mind the Maker sweater knit. This one I bought from Minerva back in 2022. And I'm going to make my original plan for this fabric, which was the Nina Lee South Bank sweater and the cropped view. I've made this pattern once before. I made the dress and I really like it. I wanted to sew this up last year, but I just ran out of time. And I think that it would be a really great sweater for early fall and even into winter. My only concern with this fabric is that it is a little bit on the heavier side. So I hope that my serger can manage it appropriately. But besides that, I'm thinking it's going to be a really quick and easy sew. Next on my plans list is this Mind the Maker chambray denim. I have two yards of it and I bought it in 2023 from Minerva. This one, I really do want to try to make a pair of barrel leg jeans. I had put this on my spring plans list, but I ran out of time to make them because my sewing machine was in the repair shop. So I do want to make them for fall. Right now I'm considering two different pattern options. One I have sewn before and one is new to me. The one that I've made before is the Fiber Mood Betty pants. I made these in corduroy a couple of years ago and unfortunately I don't have those pants anymore 
because when I made them, they were a little bit snug and I have since gotten larger so they don't fit me anymore. But I did really like the silhouette and I liked the pockets and the little yoke detail in the front. So I would like to make them again eventually. And then the other pattern that I'm considering is the Vicky Sews Brittany. Now this one I received for free when I was a Vicky Sews brand ambassador, but that partnership has ended. So I don't get any kind of compensation for recommending the pattern to you. I actually forgot that I had this pattern in my stash. But the reason that I like this one is that apart from just being a classic barrel style, it does have little pleats in the front. So it's just a little bit dressier. It's a little bit more work appropriate. So I really like the look of those pants. And so far, all of the Vicky Sews pants patterns that I've tried have actually fit me pretty well with minimal adjustments. So I can't quite decide which one that I want to try, but I definitely know that I want to sew up a pair of barrel leg jeans for this fall. Next on my plans list is some loungewear. I have several sets of loungewear in my closet that have been there for quite a few years now and they are getting pretty old and tired. So I want to start replacing some of those with newer pieces. I have this leopard print French Terry that I bought from Style Maker Fabrics back in 2021 and I have three yards of it. I think the reason that I haven't sewn it up yet is because it was thinner than I was expecting it to be. It's pretty lightweight, so it would be ideal to sew it up and make a set for fall, but I don't know that it's going to be warm enough to keep wearing it into winter. For this set, I'm planning to use two of my TNT patterns. For the top, I want to make a hoodie. I'm not 100% decided whether I want to do a zip up hoodie or if I want to do a pullover hoodie, but the pattern that I want to use is the I am rainbow pattern. I've sewn this one a few different times and I really like the fit. It's loose and comfortable without being super baggy and oversized. And then for the bottoms, I want to try out the paper cut Tula pants, which is a favorite pattern of mine. I've made it many times before. And the pattern is supposed to be appropriate for either knits or wovens. So I thought I would give it a try this time with a knit and see how it goes. I would make the wide leg pants. And I just think that having a wide leg pant with a hoodie would be really comfortable and cozy for hanging out around the house. This next fabric is a ditzy rayon chalet. It has a black background and then the colors just remind me of fall so much. I have three meters of this and I bought it in 2021 from Blackbird Fabrics. Now I do want to make a dress this fall. I don't tend to wear dresses a ton in the fall and winter, but because the fabric is so autumnal, I do want to try to sew up a fall dress and I'll just have to see if I wear it or not. And if not, I can always wear it in the spring and summer as well. I have two patterns for this one and I can't quite make up my mind. The first one is the Jennifer Lauren handmade Quincy. I've had this pattern in my stash for quite a while, but I haven't made it yet. I do like that this dress comes with different cup sizes. It has a V-neck, it has a button front, but just to the bodice, I think the skirt is just plain. It's a fit and flare style. It has longer sleeves, so it would be appropriate for fall. And it's about a knee length dress, although I have enough fabric that I could likely extend it to a midi if I wanted to. And then the second dress that I'm considering is the Style Arc Hope dress. I have sewn this once before in the expansion pack with the crossover version. This time around, I would likely make the version that has the ties. Although the picture that the model is wearing, I don't like those cuffed sleeves that she has, but there are several different sleeve options that I could choose from. I would probably pick something else. The dress that I've made already from this pattern is a cotton poplin and it's super, super comfortable. But I also think it would look really nice in rayon. It'd be super flowy and drapey and a little bit boho with that tie neck style. So let me know in the comments which dress you think that I should make out of this beautiful fabric. So those are my sewing plans for the next roughly three months or so. I'm sure I'll make a new set of plans once winter gets here. I pretty much never finish everything that's on my list, but I'm hoping to sew up a majority of it. Let me know in the comments what your sewing plans are for fall, and I will see you in the next one.